Hello everyone. I hope you are working hard at home today. We are ready for our second foundations test. So I wanted to remind you how this is done because we take our tests on Seesaw. So we had a link that took you to your activity. Don't forget, you can play the instructions. They will tell you again what to do. But when you add your response, I just wanted to remind you of some helpful hints. So your foundations test is a few pages long. So please make sure that you look at each slide here on the side or use the arrow key to go to the next slide so that you are doing each different part of the test. You are to listen to Miss Peluso. She will give you different sounds. She will give you words. She will give you trick words and she will give you sentences. And sometimes she goes a little fast and it's okay, like we did in class, to pause it, give your time, give yourself some time to put your answer down, and then you can continue to play her video. So when we listen to Miss Peluso, we click on her button to listen to her give the sounds. Sounds. Sound number one. Ung. You can pause the video. You could rewind it if you needed to hear it again. And we talked about some different things you can do. Obviously, you can use a pencil and write in your sounds. You can get a text box, but you can also, when you click on this and you see those little circles around it, this is what was a little tricky last week. If you come down to these three dots and you can unlock it or lock it, now it's locked, now it's unlocked, okay? You have to click on unlocked and then you can just use your keypad to type in your letters. Takes a little time, a little pausing of the video. You can go and listen to Miss Peluso. Um, on the next sound. You can um, pause the video. You can go to number two, click on it. You can try typing. And if it doesn't work, remember those little dots. Sometimes we have to lock, then we have to unlock. It takes a little practice. There it is, it's unlocked. Now I see my cursor, I can type my letters. So you have that option. You have the option of just taking your pencil, but please make sure we can read your writing if you use your pencil. Please do not use a marker or a highlighter. And don't forget to go to each page of the test. The last page is the teacher page, so you don't need to worry about it but you need to go all the way to the sentences. After you complete the sentences, then you are finished. And don't forget when you're done to turn it in. If you do need to take a break or pause, hit draft and then go back. But I would suggest finding about 15 minutes, 20 minutes of your time to sit and get this all done in one sitting and then click the green check mark to turn it in when you're finished. Good luck, tap things out, and show us what you can remember from Foundations Unit 2.